In today's video, I try and take down one of the most evil fashion corporations, Abercrombie & Fitch, and make their customers my very own. But why Abercrombie? They've had some sort of resurgence within the last year and a half, and started selling vintage. That's the issue. They're not. They're selling this mass-produced, screen-printed garbage, and people are eating this up. We simply cannot have that if we're trying to build the best online vintage website, tinsniffshop.com, link in bio. So today, I went to my local Abercrombie and attempted to steal all of their customers. You can just donate all your Abercrombie to the thrift. And simply put them out of business. Is this card? Is this card? Is this card? And well, as you guys saw, the business cards were a total flop. Nobody in this mall seemed to want anything to do with my business cards. Little did Abercrombie know, I had way more tricks up my sleeve than walking around their store handing out silly pieces of cardboard. Business card? We needed to come up with a way more effective approach if we wanted to put these dweebs out of business. And then I remember this book I read when I was seven, The Art of War by Sun Tzu, Principle One. We can't just walk into Abercrombie and start causing a ruckus. If we wanted to do this, we had to infiltrate them from the very inside. Do I look like I'm working here? Hello, welcome to Abercrombie. Did you guys need any help today? Thank you guys. Guys, this is totally working. People think I work here. But as you guys can see, I look nothing like the dweebs that work here. Now, I was prepared to buy some actual clothes from Abercrombie. But we gotta figure out what the people in Abercrombie are wearing. But then this happened, and this was hilarious. I'm actually working right now. Is it working? Yeah. You got a Hollister tee on. Yeah. Anthony, this is the golden shot. We have caught this man wearing Hollister on the shift. What is this camera work? Yeah, I know, I just don't. It was on me. Do you work here? I do work here. But yeah, this man was wearing a Hollister hoodie on the shift. It was at this very moment that I knew this store was absolutely f no. What is happening? Someone is stealing right there. And that leads us to principle number two. I knew somebody had to take over this store. Any ties here? Ties? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's around that way. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome to Abercrombie. And the t-shirts? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't buy them here, guys. Bought like a couple of these. They lasted me like five washes. So it's not too bad for you. Thank you. Buy four items, get 20% off. Damn, it must be a tough month here. All right, guys, let's see how much they want for denim. Bro, $78? I can buy like two pairs of that on tinstripshop.com. I am plugging the best vintage website out there, and I'm not even in frame. Please hit the like button so we can get this man some videography classes. Calm. And speaking of plugging, have you heard of tinstripshop.com? Like tinstripshop.com. Tinstripshop? That is what I then proceeded to do with every single customer I ran into. XL? Extra life. I have a lot on my website, and they want $40 for this. My website has them up for only $15. No, really? Yes, really. After spending an hour in the store, I had realized one thing. My prices on Abercrombie's. And I had to let everybody know that. $40? We have a lot better clothing than uh, this stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Fake vintage Chicago Bulls tee for $40. Principle number three. I needed to make sure none of the workers knew that I was trying to sabotage their store. So I had to be super subtle. Justin here to shop. Right. I just Only shopping here. Okay, I'm really bad at being subtle. They ended up kicking us out. I then remembered the most important principle. We had to outthink our enemy. So I got some tape. Thank you. Thank you. I should be cutting this man a monthly check because he was a final part in helping me destroy Abercrombie. And here's my master plan. I'm going to replace all the price tags with my very own business card. So now, every customer will then see my business card instead with a QR code that takes them directly to my website, tinsurfshop.com. Com and see that my website has way better options than Abercrombie. But there was just one issue. It looks like one of the employees was stalking me to ruin my plans. 90 straight vintage stretch. And as you guys can see, I made it very obvious that I was just another customer. But little did she know, I was taking this place down in broad daylight. And after sabotaging every item in the store, it was time to put the cherry on top. Nice. I like it. Oh, you silly goose. I've made your store my personal billboard. You're working for me now. And I had learned so much that I was ready to take over every single fast fashion shop. Shop them some shop. These guys look perfect. They just need a little something. Yeah. There's nothing better than free advertising. Then I left the store because this rat right here was snitching on me. I then got told the second time that I couldn't film inside the stores. So as one does, I found a loophole. She didn't say I couldn't film outside of the stores. She then found me and told me to leave or else she'd call the cops. And I left because I leave on my own terms. Besides, I basically owned the place. Alright, I'll just leave it there for you. Business card? Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Make sure you go follow my Instagram and check out my website, both link in bio.